here's something you don't see every day. And at this point, I'm kind of starting to feel bad for the A's. They're 3 and 15. And I feel like I'm making a lot of videos, especially around Tony Kemp, good player, but a lot of weird things happening around the A's right now. So we have runner on first. We have a stolen base attempt. We have a catch and a throw. We have a tag. The runner is out. You'll see the umpire right here. Go to call out. Right here, you're out. Oh, wait a second. No, the glove is on the ground with the ball in it. My bad. He's safe. So let's talk about this play in a couple different ways. First off, if the umpire felt that the runner was attempting to take the glove off on purpose, intentionally, then he would have been out. But you can see as he slides in, his right hand hits the ground here. His left hand is up. Now it's going to start to just kind of naturally start to come down right there and it pinches the glove in between the arm and the his stomach but it's not intentional and the glove falls off right there again we get the out call and then he reverses it to a safe call now let's look at it from a defensive perspective so as the throw is coming in here you're taught as a middle infielder to let the ball travel. You don't want to reach out to catch it because then you have to bring the glove back. So you want to let the ball travel as far as possible. Now you can see Kemp here. He's basically straddling the bag, kind of has his left foot on the back corner of the bag. Now this is one way to catch a throw from the catcher. And a lot of times fielders will do this because it forces the ball to travel. But I actually like our infielders to be in front of the bag if they're able to get there still allow the ball to travel but the thing i like about getting to the front of the bag is if the ball is thrown up the line which it is a lot a lot of balls are thrown up the line by catchers if you are in front of the bag you can allow the ball to travel but you can also step in front you have room you have clearance because you're not in the baseline right here so if you're straddling the bag you are essentially going to have the runner sliding right into you if you are in front of the bag well, then you are out of the way, but you just keep your glove back and allow it to travel. And what happens here is you can see the ball is starting to tail this way. And Kemp has to kind of reach this way. But because he's straddling the bag, the ball is also very deep. And so now it gets caught up here in the runner's side. If he happened to be a little bit more in front of the bag, he could have still let the ball travel. He could have caught the ball probably right there you catch the ball and then you just tag the runner instead of having it all get tied up now could he have still been safe i don't know it's a close call i think he probably still catches it and tags him in time yeah it looks like he has plenty of time to do that but if this is the one case where he actually probably lets the ball travel too far too deep and again straddling the bag doesn't allow him to catch it just slightly slightly more out in front of the bag but again with the way things are going right now for the a's this isn't surprising that this would happen. And this isn't something you, you should see happen very often. Where there you can see the ball right there. You don't see this happen very often. I remember the A-Rod play, which was a different type of play. But you had A-Rod trying to slap the glove to knock the ball out of it. But you don't often see fielders' gloves fall off. Especially with the ball still inside it. And real quick story. I wish I had the video. This actually is how my high school career ended. We had a runner steal home in a huge playoff game. The runner didn't slide. He jumped. He knocked the catcher's glove off, which had the ball inside of it. So he would have been out, but the glove fell off. He was called safe. In my opinion, there's a must slide rule, slide or avoid in high school. He didn't either. Should have been out. I'm still mad about it 20-something years later. So anyways, that's all we have. Let me know your opinion of this play. Some people online were saying that he should have been out because he intentionally tried to knock the glove off. I don't think that's the case, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later.